everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to the latest update video for the Road to Gullum and Peyton Challenge. If you guys want to stay updated with the challenge, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. So this is update number 10 and I asked you guys last week is, will I take a small break between videos and start painting up some of the terrain that came with Warhammer Conquest? And you guys answered and I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video. So for now I'm just going to show you guys the three aggressors that I painted up. So let's switch down to the table view and we'll have a look at them. Alright, so here we are. We have the three aggressors all finished up, ready to go. I love these models. They look bulky, they look like big Hulk busters almost. Um, it would have been nice to see what they're like with different weapon options. But apart from that, they look fantastic and I really do like these guys. But the bad thing is, painting wise, these guys are identical to 90% of Ultramarine armies. Especially the Intercessors. The only difference in the colour that I could really tell is that there's more silver and more gold on this. Everything is the exact same, the blue, the gold, the silver, uh, a little bit more red on this guy because he's uh, like a sergeant guy, but other than that, um, they're pretty simple to paint. There's not really too much I can add into this without kind of repeating myself what I've talked about before. So there is like more details on the base, there's like little things. Um, like a, a broken gun, there's like a broken servo skull and a statue piece but other than that they're, they're identical to intercessors but they're great models, they look fantastic maybe if I had a bit more time I might have done these uh, battle damaged just to separate them a little bit more, stop them from getting a little bit more, or stop them from looking more newish and give them a more battle damaged look, I would have really loved to have tried that um, but it's just, it just time wasn't on my side. Now one of the things I am definitely going to be changing going forward is using the, the gold. Uh, more particularly the shade that I use. Because I always base it with Retributor Armor. And I was kind of going back and forth between uh, Reikland Flesh Shade and Agrax Earth Shade to use in the recesses. But for definite now I'm going to be sticking with Agrax Earth Shade. Because it looks so much nicer in the recess part. And then with that Liberator Gold highlight over it. Um, that's, well for the colours that I have that's the perfect combination to use for these guys. Alright so hopefully you guys like them models. As I say there's not a whole lot of difference in painting these compared to like an Intercessor model or a Reaver. But they're really nice looking models. They're big, they're bulky. Like I said they're like Hulkbuster models almost. As I said earlier I'm going to talk about the terrain. Now I asked you guys should I kind of do um, every couple of videos about the terrain that came with the site and it was a resounding yes everyone was like yeah if you want take the break it's nice to change to something different the challenge is still going to be gone it's just kind of every now and again it's just to get some of the, it's like there's a lot of terrain that came with this site and it's up there and it's not getting anything done with it so I think it, it feels like it should be part of the Road to Gullum and Painting Challenge because like 85% of the models that are going to be getting painted are all from this site, the Warhammer Conquest site. So every fourth video I'm going to be doing a piece of terrain from the site. So what I'm going to do with the terrain is I'm going to split it all up and work out what I'm going to be painting in each video. But for the next one, on update number 11, I'm going to have done two of the containers. Now these are, they're big, there's three of these all together, well there's three for now anyway, I don't think there's any more on the site. But these are big, they're bulky, they're really nice to put in the background to get some nice shots of the models. And really they shouldn't take too long to paint up. So I'm looking forward to getting these. It's about time I started having some Warhammer 40k terrain. And there is, actually I was just thinking, there is little guns to go on top of these. They're, they're around here somewhere, they're in a box somewhere put away for these. So I'm going to paint them up as well. I, took, I think I took them off because I wanted to stack them up on the shelf. So um, yeah, so... Thanks to you guys for choosing to do the terrain. So next week's video will be two pieces of terrain painted up. I can't wait to get these containers done and use them for background images to get painted, uh, to take pictures as well. So if you guys like these videos, make sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Ring that bell as well to stay updated. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.